Industry sources say Samsung is preparing a new lineup of models, the Galaxy S26 Pro, S26 Edge, S26 Plus, and S26 Ultra. Of the entire lineup, the Galaxy S26 Pro is the main highlight because it is said to be the first device to adopt an internally manufactured 2 nanometer chipset, the Exynos 2600. This move shows Samsung's ambition to re-establish its position as a major player in mobile chipset development. The trend of using different chipsets in each region is also predicted to continue. In the latest report, the Galaxy S26 Pro is said to use the Exynos 2600 in most global markets, while the United States and China will likely still get the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 variant. Although not yet officially announced, this decision reopens an old debate. Is Exynos mature enough to compete directly with Snapdragon? Samsung is believed to want to prove that it is no longer solely dependent on Qualcomm, but is ready to compete head-to-head -head through the latest fabrication technology and a more aggressive CPU architecture. The Exynos 2600 is rumored to be the first 2 nanometer mobile chipset to hit the commercial market. Featuring a DECA-core CPU configuration, 1 plus 3 plus 6, this chip is said to offer higher power efficiency while significantly improving multi-core performance. Mass production reportedly began last month, signaling Samsung's desire to stay one step ahead of competitors who are still in the 2 nanometer testing phase. If successful, the Exynos 2600 could be a turning point for Samsung's reputation after the criticism it received during the Exynos 2200 and 2400 era. However, the success of the Exynos also heavily depends on performance stability, thermal management, and GPU integration, areas where Snapdragon has traditionally held an advantage. User experience in the field particularly in the gaming and on-device AI segments, will be key to the chipset's adoption. On the other hand, the presence of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 variant in certain markets indicates that Samsung is still playing it safe from a business perspective. The U.S. and Chinese markets are known to be more sensitive to performance issues, and Snapdragon has a strong reputation among consumers there. Thus, Samsung is trying to secure two things at once, pride and internal innovation and global consumer trust. Interestingly, the Galaxy S26 Plus, which was rumored to have been scrapped, is now back in production. This decision comes after the Galaxy S25 Edge's sales performance was deemed unsatisfactory. The Plus model has always been a mid-range option that balances price, screen size, and flagship features, and Samsung seems unwilling to lose this segment ahead of the 2027 competition era. The Galaxy S26 series is also expected to bring significant updates to its camera and AI capabilities. Samsung, which is now fiercely competing with Apple and Google in the mobile AI computing sector, is believed to be leveraging the power of the Exynos 2600 to introduce features such as generative image processing, automatic editing, and live translation without cloud connectivity. If true, these changes will not only be about hardware, but also Samsung's repositioning in the smartphone AI war. However, consumers are still waiting for official clarification regarding the differences in features between the Exynos and Snapdragon variants. In previous generations, camera performance, battery efficiency, and thermal effects often differed between the two chipsets, sparking debate and even massive comparisons on social media. Samsung needs to ensure that chipset differences do not create a gap in user experience. Without an official launch, Rumors about the Galaxy S26 series have already sparked global discussions. On one hand, this reflects high enthusiasm for the 2 nanometer chipset innovation and the surprises from the new Pro lineup. On the other hand, Samsung still faces the classic challenge, how to prove that Exynos is now trustworthy, not just a complement to Snapdragon. Mm -hmm.